Hello, in this video we will see how to import iOS images in GNS3 software. So, first I will open my GNS3. It will be good if you have GNS3 VM installed. So, I install in VirtualBox. In a moment it will be installed. So, if you want new project, here actually I don't want new project because we'll just import the images and I will show you. So you can see here my GNS3 VM is, is starting now. I minimize this one. Once it's full start, it, this will show green also, the gray icon. And this is my PC actually showing green now. But GNS3 VM is still starting, not yet started. So we'll see here. It's up now. So to import a plan, I have to go to Edit Preferences, and then we have to click on Dynamics iOS Routers. Here I click on New and run this iOS on GNS3 VM. If you have VM installed, always run the router and switches on GNS3 VM because it will reduce the uh, overhead on CPU as well as RAM. It will be you will get, get the better performance, of course. So click on next. Existing image, new image. So I am selecting your new image. Here I will browse my images which I have downloaded already. It's in my download folder. Here I have all images. So I will import now this. 3725 image open decompress yes so uploading next router name chassis no need whatever default I will go with default name here RAM if you want you can increase it it's showing now 128 MB so it's a default RAM I will go with default Additional port if you want you can add I will add your uh, four port and for uh, serial port and 16 switch port I will add because for my lab sometimes I require if I not use it will be there. But also I will use two N ports and then finish. So you can see the C3725 is recently added. Before I have only one router which is C3600. So apply OK. Now if I click here and I make a new lab. So next I'm going to I'm going to practice on my new lab which is redistribution lab. I will click on OK. So when I go on the router, I will drag and drop the routers here. Router 1, Router 2, and Router 3. These are my routers. I will, you can see I have the so many ports now because I added the ports additional. So I will select serial 0, 0 to serial 0, 0 serial 0, 1 to serial 0, 1 scat turn on all the routers routers are booted now you can see here the green icons and click on this icon to open console for all routers so my all routers are open now. It's booting. You can see one, two, three, 